by my fourth year, I was, I was doing a million a month. I had gone from having a few machines to 20 CNC machines and some big machines, half a million dollar horizontal machines. They were just cranking titanium all day long. 55 employees, 55 employees, parts just leaving every single day. On top of the world, people are like, man, Titan, we've never seen this in this industry, never seen this happen. I was so confident, I was so up here love manufacturing making products everybody says that it has to go overseas and we're doing it and showing it and being successful i went from having horrible credit to going and having you know nice cars and a big house and and all the things you know overpaying my employees just just money everywhere and saving our customers money at the same time and then one day, 2008, the war on oil, I'm making subsea parts that go onto ROVs, remote operated vehicles that go to the bottom of the ocean to weld and move around pipeline, inspect, do all these things. I'm making parts for these, RO, these $4 million ROVs. And one day I get a call and it's like, Titan, today's gonna be a bad day. I'm super confident because I've always been good. I've always, you know, excelled in, in, in machining, not always in life, but in machining. And I never tasted the defeat. I never tasted, you know, bad economies. I didn't understand what that was about. I was still pretty new. That day, my fax machine went off. Boom, boom, boom. All day, many of my team, they remember that day. I had 55 employees. I lost $4 million worth of work in one day. Everything stopped. At least 80% of everything stopped. But I was so confident that the work was going to come back. I kept machining. I kept all my workers. I, was, I had vision. I knew where we were going. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to you know, have a huge company and I wanted to give back and I felt that I was in prison and I'd gone through all these things to have this huge company and to get to a point where I can go to Africa or do this or do that and I can like do something amazing. And then one day somebody came in and they're like, oh, your customer just stood at the door and let a hundred employees go and shook their hands. Hundred employees. That same customer called me up and said, Titan, the work is not coming back. You gotta downsize. You gotta downsize. I had money in the bank. All of a sudden the money dropped, dropped, dropped. By the time you told me to downsize, I had 55 employees, 55 families, men and women that I loved. And I literally like sat in my office absolutely crushed. I had already been walking down a, a steep road, but when you know that it's done, there's nothing you can do. And you got to go and talk to these people and, and they have families and they're not going to be able to put food on the table. I just like, it must have been hours. I just stayed there like, that day I left, I let go of 15 of my friends. 15 of my family members. They'd never seen that from me. They'd seen, you know, vision and, and hope. And they walked away without a job. Over the next year, I would lay off more employees to the tune of, an, of 40 employees. I laid off 40 employees over the course of a year. Lost my cars, lost my house. I, I didn't take money from, you know, Paying $90,000 every two weeks to 55 employees took its toll. And I came within this close of closing my doors. But during the process, I jumped. I went to every building. I made every call. I tried for every loan. I, I tried to get over the wall, over the wall, around the wall. I tried to solve every problem. I got the mayor, the city manager. I got... My customers, I, I did everything possible and, and just kept failing, you know, getting on my knees every single day. Just like, how do I, how do I Lord, how do I, I, like, please save my company, Lord, please save the company. Like, 
you know, coming to the very end, coming to uh, the absolute end, you know, I, I was able to jump over to aerospace, get into the private aerospace sector. I make titanium parts. For six months, I had sent letters and letters and called everybody, and finally, I started getting quotes. Miracles happened, and I was able to save my company with 15 employees left. Right when I saved my, my company and left a 35,000 square foot building and jumped to a smaller building and just, just barely saved. Like you gotta understand, miracles happen. I, I had zero money, I had a negative bank account. I needed $100,000 to move my company. And I had a customer call me at the moment I had given every, all hope was lost. And I just got on my floor and I was like, Lord, like there's nothing else I can do. I just give it all up. Like I get a call from a company called Malibu Boats. Their machines broke. They had the same machines as me. My machines were sitting idle. They brought programs, they brought material, they brought everything into my shop that day and paid me a perfect $100,000 that was just enough to just enough to save my company.